Greetings. Episode one we have, which is, let's look at the Edinburgh Fringe. Get with the programme. I'm Karen Lyon at PCM Creative, and I'm a creative producer living in the UK. I would love to be up at the Edinburgh Fringe at this time of year, but it's a long way to go. It's an expensive excursion. It's mass chaos. It's quite a lot of time to take out of your schedule. But if you're going, it's a magnificent three weeks of theatre and culture and live performance, comedy. And we're going to have a look at the entirety of what is the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. There are lots of other festivals and some of them are taking place at the same time. The International Fringe is one, for example. The Free Fringe is another, and I'm going to be covering that in another episode. But this is just looking at the bear moth that is Edinburgh Fringe. So where I'm going to start is back with a story that before social webs, we had a paper brochure that was available to us from the moment you arrived at Edinburgh. I visited Edinburgh in 2008 and 2009 now as part of an equity delegation to just be present at the fringe and talk to companies and performers and producers that were performing and, and using these venues just, just to see what was going on, how people were being treated and how equity could have a voice and look after the independent sector. Over the years, that has become the low pay, no pay campaign. It's also been the forefront of the um, Edinburgh Fringe and the London Fringe um, contract, which is available to just lay out some ground rules, rules and a basic agreement for how we work together as creatives, whether you're a performer or whether you're a producer, whether you're a director, we all have to work together. And at the points when things go wrong, we need contracts. So the Edinburgh Fringe happens every year. Um, this year, it's taking place from the 5th to the 29th of August. So it's already up and going. As of this live stream, it's the 12th of August. And what I'm going to do over the next 20 minutes is just show you the Fringe programme. It's available as a PDF. So on screen, you can see around me, there is a QR code for the tickets. And uh, so let's say there's a QR code for the tickets here. So anything that I talk about or if you're interested in going, having a look at the tickets, they're there. There is the PDF programme. So that's what I'm going to be looking at. And then also there's the Edinburgh Fringe website, which we will look at in terms of how you actually find what's going on. So the Fringe programme, I'm going to start. I'm just going to scroll through this. So in its big, it's a document of, i move this up, it's a document of 371 pages. And when it, it was about this thick as a brochure, I don't know how thick the PDF is now. Um, I don't, you can pick up physical copies. But the thing about having the physical copy, well, there was no PDF version um, back in the day, but this is what I would have had. And I'd arrived for a two day event and for the speculation for this week, just to give a bit of context about what I am looking at in this programme, I'm assuming that I would be coming up to the Edinburgh Fringe this week, the 18th and 19th of August. Um, it's the two days, let me get the days right, it is the Thursday and Friday this week. So let's say I was going up. You've also always got to bear in mind that you are going to be travelling. So I've got my arrival day of the 17th and I've got my departure date of the 20th. And there's some flexibility. I think you need to um, absorb the fringe. You need to give yourself time to do that. And um, you also need to give yourself time to immerse yourself in just the concept of the fringe. There are venues all over the place. There are street events taking place. There are cafes. Everything in Edinburgh is just tuned in. 
and just being part of there. And I think on your first day, if there's really a show that you want to go and see, and I'll go through kind of a planning process, if you decide there's a show that fits into your schedule, then go and see a show on the evening. But there's no harm. Never punish yourself for not being in theatre at all times because you can't be everywhere. And so this is just a, a bit of a, a look at, OK, we're going for two days. How, how do you get your head around going to the Edinburgh Fringe for two days? So this is the Fringe programme. Um, and as I say, QR codes around. Um, and the contents, the first thing we get, we've got some about the fringe. It's really just find out what the fringe is. If you're not coming, you don't know what the fringe is. This is an opportunity. Tells you about their sponsors and partners. Ticketing information. There's information there. There's ticket offices on the ground. But I think if you can pre-book your ticket, now that the website and the ticket are available, it's up there at the top for tickets. Navigating the programme on page seven, there's an actual section in this document that just helps you navigate the programme. Accessibility has become so much more aware in the last few years, and that is that is a joy. But even so, if you've got accessibility requirements, make sure you get in touch with the venues. There's places where you can check what's going to be available if it's a step issue getting into a venue you know find out what that step access is it might be auditory um some of them do have audio descriptions some of them do have closed captions but some accessibility can just be about space you know how big is that space is it going to be overwhelming can you find a space near an exit if you need to get out so just just have that open dialogue with any venue and if the venue is willing to have that conversation with you, then that's great. If a com if a venue won't have the conversation, then maybe find a show somewhere else <laughs> and just be kind to yourself. This is your time. So then we have, and they're colour coded, which is nice. And in the physical programme, it's nice because you can flick through it. So there's cabaret and variety, children's shows. So early shows if you want to get some shows in early and you don't find something that's suitable that's always a place to go to find some quirky innovative and story-based shows for for young people it doesn't have to be you don't have to be young you can be young at heart so children's shows the comedy the fringe comedy circuit at edinburgh is huge i mean the major contract and um, booklet for the comedians is being launched this year equity is launching that at the fringe this year it is the prominent place for comedians the perrier award probably different name now but a lot of a lot of comedians make their name from edinburgh we've then got dance and physical physical theater and circus just events things that are taking place Comedy, physical, theatre, I just said that. Exhibitions, music, musicals and opera, spoken word, theatre and enhanced, they've got also got an enhanced performance listing. So that is people who have specifically set out that they are uber welcoming to people who have needs beyond just what everybody takes for granted. So it may be you start there, but for me, and I am going to do this stream only up until the half an hour point. I have to start somewhere. And for me, I'm going to flick through this. But what the shows that I'm a theatre person. So on this occasion, I'm going to be looking at theatre. It feels harsh, but there is so much you've got to focus down. So if there's something that interests you, if you're going up to see children's shows, start with the children's shows section. If you're a musical theatre fan, go straight to music and opera just hone in as soon as you can because it will and we will see it will just become massive and then it's how do you how do you hone that down to making sure you have enough shows so i'm going to go down to the red so on the way we'll see what's happening so about the fringe um we've got um monumentous occasion is the 75th anniversary this year a bit about who they are sponsors 
we've got ticket booking booking advice e-tickets so it's all there it's all there this is a pdf as i say qr code over there navigating the program so this is what we're going to see i mean everyone is going to have a show name performer and the company name a bit about sub genres there'll be a show description the venue where it's taking place and then the venue information where it can be found. And then you've got the dates and times which are underneath the picture. So that's kind of what we've got to contend with. So let's have a look to see what it is. Accessibility at the fringe, bits and pieces there. Take a look at that. And then you'll start to see these maps. There's a few of these. So wherever your show is, you're going to need to pinpoint it. And then once you've pinpointed some of the shows you want to see, part of the logistics of working out where you want to Hello. I was told you were gone. I was kicked out of the studio, but that's fine. I'm going to carry on. Let me just get the uh, screen share back so that I can show you where we are at. We were on a Chrome tab and we were in here. OK. And we will go to the bottom screen. We'll go to the bottom there. There we go. The joys of live streaming. OK. Do, do do comment if you are still watching, if you're there. I am streaming to Facebook page, YouTube, and to Twitch. I do have comments, so I can see where comments come in from. Um, this is a bit of an experiment. I like to stream, and making sure that when things like that happen, I can recover it is part of why I do this. I've got my screen share set up. I've got a few banners. I'm not going over complicated with what we have in StreamYard. So let me return. So street events, street events. What's on and where? Again, we have another map. So I don't know where the stream kicked me out, but I am back. Street events, it's telling you where things are. Now this, let me see if I can find, so the gold, the Royal Mile. So across the Royal Mile there at the bottom, you've got Pink Star, Royal Mile, and I think it's kind of a, a churchy cathedral type building. That is where all of the major um, promotions happen. That's where the buzz is. If you want to really get a sense of the external ambient chaos that is the Edinburgh Fringe, that's where you go. People are handing out flyers. It's all, all go. So... I'm going to scroll down to theatre. So you can see this is the pink. We've got all these things happening. And what you want to do when you're going through is if you have time, just go through and see what grabs your fancy. It'll be, it might be the pictures. It may be one of the big ads. And make a little note. If, you, if you're not got a bookmarking system, there's a few platforms that I've checked out where I can put a PDF into a notation platform and I'm going to look at that and I might include that in one of the later live streams but I can't share from my iPad into StreamYard so that would be a Zoom thing um, and I don't want to screen share from Zoom into StreamYard to create yet another link so you just want to go through and see what's there just get a sense you're not going to look at it um, you might see um, words pop out at you we're still on comedy we're in the pink we're in the pink so you're going down you're in the pink pink and then we reach children's shows we're now in the green and as you can say there's the same format for every single show you've got the title at the top you've got the company you've got um, a sub-genre so here we've got comedy 
on the other side for Around the World with Nellie Bly, you've got theatre and storytelling. You've got a suit, age suitability, especially for the children's shows. You've got a photograph. You've got a bit about the show. You've got where it's taking place. So V number, that's the venue. And then you've got the grid reference of the venue. And then you've got when this is taking place. So just looking here, this is taking place from the 4th to the 16th. So if we were going down for this two days, which I'm doing the, 7th, the 19th, 18th and 19th. So as soon as you were looking at that, you know the dates you're there, you can move on. So looking down. So, yeah, we've got the children's shows. We've got the children's shows. Got the children's shows. And there are shows that are taking place in the same venue, but lots of different genres. So I'll just flash back up to here. And I noticed here we've got kids shows at the Underbelly. So the Underbelly is a very prominent venue and there's lots going on in that venue. It may be that you have to choose to specialise in venues. And as we look at the theatre shows, you'll start to see that there will be a couple that catch your eye. And I know this happens to me that through just coincidence but it's about the genre and the things that you're attracted to it's very well programmed that you'll find that the same few venues are, are having shows that are attracted to you so that's when you start to go okay let's look at that particular venue can I spend my whole time there can you know can I make life easier for myself because traveling between a and b all that time you're traveling between venues you're not able to see the show so green we're going down the greens and we've got uh pleasant that's another big venue that uh, is very well known uh we've got green we go down on the kids shows lots of kids shows children's shows the next on the list and these are all taking place within a three-week period now you're going to need to find out what your time slots are so there tends to be Morning shows, before lunch, after lunch, mid-afternoon, early evening, late evening, night time. That is the clock at which you're trying to find where different things are placed. And once you start to understand where the shows that you want to see are placed in that clock, you can then start to put that down on a document. And I'm going to build that document coming off the back of this show and I will share that as a PDF in the show notes on Twitch, on the Facebook page and in the YouTube. So, oh, we've changed colour. We've changed colour. We've changed colour. We're now on comedy. So here we go down for comedy. And down on the comedy, um, exactly the same. You can see the format. You've got the name, you've got the company, You've got what it is. So all of these are here. We've got compilation and stand up. Uh, we've got um, you know, so stand up for comedy, storytelling is a genre in there. Solo show. We've got um, workshops. So that's you know some other things. Are you there? To, what what do you want your experience to be? Do you want to sit in an audience and watch some shows? Do you want to actually be a participant somehow? Um, you may decide that you want to be a audience member watching shows this year, but seeing some of the shows and hearing what people are talking about in terms of immersive, that might be something you decide to have next year. But don't punish yourself for not attending stuff. I think it was um, champion the content you create and don't mourn the media you miss. Um, it was always kind of my adage. Um, so we go down, we've got comedy, the comedy, the comedy goes on, the comedy goes on. And this, oh, it's just, there's so much to see. I mean, you can see I'm, I am going for the red, I'm going for the theatre. But if I was to look at all of this stuff, I, I would find so much stuff that I wouldn't know where to start. So for me, what I'm looking for is a 7th, 18th and 19th show that's theatre that is any time in those clocks. I could be looking for a 17th show in the evening and then that would determine how quick do I need to get up to the fringe, check in, all that sort of stuff of the other day before. And also you're looking at well, when are you departing? Is there a morning show you can see? So there's all of these slots that you've got to have in mind. And this year, the app, which 
would tell you what's on when. It's on the website and I will show you that. I see we've got 10 minutes remaining, so I'm going to have to go quick. So I'm going down. I'm going down to that's purple. We've got comedy. I might be cheeky and, and go over for five minutes, but I'm so bad at doing that, that having these half an hour's I should go, no, no, you come back for another show. As I say, I'm putting the comments if this has been useful. Um, but although the, the app would give you a geolocation, which the web version does, it doesn't do any of the smart stuff for you. So there might be a show on now, but you're over the other side of Edinburgh. So finding, if you want to just blindly go from show to show, then, then give yourself over to the algorithm. And that is a, a perfectly acceptable mechanic to operate in the fringe but I like to try and see shows that are going to impact me for either shows that I want to consider programming um, within my own schedules for um, clients and for companies and for venues or whether it's stuff that I want to enrich myself with so I'm very interested in advances of technology in future and immersive and the dialogue that goes around um, the politics of our time and how it's being used through storytelling. So I tend to look for, it can be any genre, but I like it to be theatre and I like to be the live theatre. Whilst we're scrolling down here as well, there is also a live, an, a live programme with some live streams and some online, on demand and scheduled stuff, which I am going to try and cover. So... We're going now. We're still in comedy. Comedy is a massive, massive part of this festival. So, and some of the names you'll, you know, you'll recognise some names. Um, you'll, there'll be stuff that you never imagined. But, but do go for eye candy. You have got to find the quickest decisions. You can't spend days and days going over this. You might have decided to, but what we're doing and what I'm trying to do is find us some stuff for the 18th and 19th of August. So comedy, if you go for comedy, it's going comedy, we're looking through, going through comedy. Oh, we're going to get a change. Couldn't preview file. Oh, no, comedy. We're still in comedy. Still in comedy. We're still in comedy. We're still in comedy. Still in comedy. Comedy. Still in comedy. There's a lot of comedy. 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 Come on. You can see there is so much. There's... You can never see all this stuff. I mean, this is the overwhelming thing about it. If you're going to the fringe for the first time, I say, go up on your first day. If you've never been there before, go and just be there. Be there and look at it and Instagram it and talk about it and meet people and, you know, find it. It may be that you decide you just want to do one show a day. But if you're out there to do more than that, that's what I'm going to try and help you get a sense of how you just hone into all of this stuff. So we're still on comedy. We're still on comedy. We're still on comedy. We're still on comedy. We're not halfway through the program yet. I can see the I can see the um, scroll bar going down. So comedy, 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 comedy. I would love to find an app that will allow me to screen share and notate um, from my desktop. Um, because I like to keep my streaming as simple as possible. So here we go. Here we go. Comedy. No, we're still on comedy. We're still on comedy. We're still on comedy. We're scrolling down the comedy. I just I say I want to keep scrolling because I just want to give you a sense of just how massive this thing is. Comedy, 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 comedy. I'm running out of time. Comedy. I'm running out of time. Comedy. We're still on the comedy. Still on the comedy. Here we go. Okay, we've changed. Where are we now? We're dance, physical, theatre and circus. And these are things, if there was, if there's something that you think, oh, I'd like to see one of those, this might be something that you try and pick up or slot in when you've worked out your other fixed points on your schedule. You know, this might be something that you pick up a venue. Or you may find that when you know where your accommodation is, what venues are around there, you know, and, and where they fit into this schedule so you can, you know, pop in and, and find stuff out. So we're on um, we're on physical theatre and comedy. I think if you go back to the beginning of this stream, I've got more and more phonetic as it's gone past because, as I say, five minutes remaining. 
um, events. So yeah, exactly the same layout, but there's things here, you know, there's a um, 10th annual festival of traditional buildings. There's um, an Al, an RBK whiskey masterclass. Oh, I do like a good whiskey. Uh, horses mouth, you know, so these are events that are masterclasses that are taking place that aren't even considered performance or anything within the others. So sort of events there. Um, Events. So let's uh, just, just briefly. So these will be one off events. So here we've got one 15th. So if we were looking for the 17th, you know, we'd look, look around. You know, if you've got dates, it's probably actually going to be because there's the website doing a date search when you do this. So you're not going through this entire program. Um, so we've got all sorts. We've got events uh, saying, and things that catch your eye. I mean, this 3D, 2D avatar has caught my eyes and it's it's a west end affair 3d 2d events limited it's craft and visual art west end fair returns the stunning grounds of the saint john's church featuring 100 artists crafters so saint john's church it's telling you where it is it's got so this is venue 127 um, and if you were to look at the map it would be in g e3 so and this is on from the 16th to the 28th at 11 o'clock. So that would be something that you could start to notate or favorite. So using the digital platform, you have got these tools that, that can assist you in trying to hone this down. So still going, still going. We've moved on to exhibitions. So, you know, an exhibition might just be something that's nice to have interspersed with your theater just to give you a time to take in what it is you've just seen, especially see if you see something that's really intense or if you've seen something that's just god awful because that can happen at the Edinburgh Fringe. You need to have this, you know, you need to shape your experience and this is the time when you get the opportunity to do that. So exhibitions, um, let's just stop and pick one here. Uh, exploring deaf heritage, stories from people and places from deaf action. So Explore Scotland's oldest deaf centre as we share community stories from deaf history, Scotland's archives, to screenings from contemporary artists. So that is um, from the 12th to the 19th. So it's in our window and it's 10 to nine o'clock. So it's it's open for a period of time. So having things like this that you can pop into and here we see it's venue 498 and it's in column G and it's in C5. So, um, okay. So that again is something that you can kind of favorite if you're using the web app. So exhibitions, you know, it is inevitable. I am going to have to go into, uh, we'll go 10 minutes at a time. Um, but I have got a stream, which is episode two at half past midday today. So half past two, it will be available as episode two. I'm going to be talking to Joe Strickland, who's up in the Edinburgh Fringe with two shows, uh, artistic director of Chronic Insanity. They've got, it's their first Edinburgh Fringe experience. So I'm going to be looking forward to talking to Joe, also a home-based Nottingham company. So double win there. Um, events, music, we've moved on to music. So again, Maybe a music event that you want to see. You may be up there to see the music. This is all contained within just the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. As I said, there's the free fringe. There's uh, the international fringe. This isn't even all of the fringe, or at least the events that are taking place. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And as I say, you can you can see sort of some some patterns here. So you know. Um, and there may be something you're there particularly to see. So if you see something on Twitter that you're interested in seeing or you know someone who's in a show, make sure you get that into your clock schedule so that you can work around those and, and put things in. If you're going to week three or four of the Fringe, it's an idea to start doing this in your evenings. You know, flick through the app, do some favourites so that when you're actually travelling up there, or you get your first night where you're trying to work out what you're going to see. You've got a sense of 
you've honed down the program. You really don't, you know, I attended, I'm sure it was 19 shows in three days, but that just sounds crazy. But I believe it was. <laughs> um, so as I say, you're looking for a two day event. You probably say if you've got your morning, pre-lunch, after lunch, early afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, late evening. So really that's um, so 40, you've got 14 slots potentially. How are you going to fill those 14 slots? And that doesn't include the little space that you need to eat <laughs> and stay hydrated, especially in this weather. If you're out in this sun, make sure you've got, you know, your water bottle. Most places will let them set you up. And also, you know, if you can get hold of a little carabiner, um, these are absolutely brilliant. So if you want one of these, Tell me in the comments. I've got someone. I will. I'll get you a dress and I will post one to you. Um, so we're on a clock. So in terms of live stream, I like to try and do an hour, uh, a half an hour. And after the Edinburgh Fringe stuff, I am going to continue my lunchtime live stream. So this set, this slot um, from September the 1st will be uh, my lunchtime live stream. Um, but this is my first session. This is the stream that I've been wanting to do since deciding I was going to do these streams in three weeks. So I am going to push on through to at least try and get some 18th and 19th shows. So let's have a look. We're in music. We're in music. We're going down through music. We're going down through the music, through the music, through the music, through the music, through the music. Yes, we're still in music. Yes, we're still in music. We're in the orange. We're in the orange. So let's go down and down and down. And we have musicals and opera. This would be my second, once I've gone through my theatre, if I wanted to see if there's any musical stuff, because I do like good music and I do like a good independent musical as well. Uh, musical is a fantastic genre for being able to tell a story in a way that you would be too restricted in an ordinary play set up. I mean, one of the favorite, best examples that I think there is of how musical theatre can be used is the Buffy musical. So if you've not seen the Buffy musical, um, and you're a Buffy fan, most Buffy fans will have seen it, but being able to take plot lines from so many different storylines and wrap them up to move on, it was a fantastic example of how you can take the absurd, how you can take storytelling that we the audience can see and be playing emotions off against other characters because in the world of the musical they can't hear each other there's some fantastic examples of for me and I'm not a musical theatre expert in any way but I like a, a bit of musical theatre so where are we where are we we're going we're going down we're still going down so who we are where are we we're spoken word again a real change of pace if you were going to be going to a musical or you're going to an event what is it that you're at the fringe for when you go home what do you want your overriding memory to be because you don't want it to be chaos you want it to be the two or three things that you did see you might lament that you didn't see more but you might also have gone I didn't see that show because it wasn't able to fit into my schedule. I didn't see that show because it wasn't on at the time that I was there, but you can take their company names. You can search their company names. You can find them on YouTube. You can find them on Google. You can visit their websites, see where they hang out when they're not at the fringe. You know, is there a show coming to you? And it, it might be the start of a whole new exploration of theater and culture for you, but this is a great place to start. So spoken word, I'm going through spoken word. Here we go. It's like swimming down. It's like deep diving. This is the rabbit hole to end all rabbit holes for the Edinburgh Fringe. So, so hey, we're at, at page 242 of 371. We get theatre. So I am looking at this stage, I am going to look at dates. So dates that I'm looking for are 18th and 19th of August. So here we have one, uh, 100 Seconds to Midnight, Talkers and Doers, New Writing Comedy. 
uh, they're at venue two of three six so that's one that i'm going to 100 seconds because i've got my trusty paper 100 seconds that's caught my eye 1902 Saltair Sky Theatre Company, multiple award winning 1902 takes an access all areas approach to working class life in Scotland as we follow four young wannabe football hooligans in their quest to see Hibs win the Scottish Cup final. Not a football fan, so at this stage, as much as it's a fabulous show, I'm sure I would probably move on. But the fact that it, it caught my eye, I would look it is in the window it's 17th and 19th so if we wanted to see it on the 19th there's something there i'm going to, so 52 souls this is one of the chronic insanities let's just see if that fits so yes they've got the 19th the 21st so and they are at 355 it's a 50 minute show so that's it also tells you what size of shows they are so you may want to consider that when you're picking a piece because if you see a two-hour show that's going to limit you and push into one of your other clock segments so this for chronic insanity which would definitely be in my trip on the 18th the 19th i would be um on the 19th Oh, no, they do have an 18th here. So there's different times, and this is the thing as well. So 19th, it's a 3.55. But then there's some other dates. I think they're about ticket prices. The ticket prices look different. The shows are the same. I would just pay the ticket price. So 19th is a possibility. 18th would be a possibility. So 52 souls, definitely... And about money, we've got Accidental Death of an Anarchist. There's also shows that are part of your art history consciousness. I would love to see a, an Accidental Death of an Anarchist version. It is a high school show. There's lots of schools and there's lots of student theatre up there. So some of the considerations is a lot of these school shows are really, really high quality. But you do have the danger of seeing something that is not quite as polished as you would like if you're not seeing many things but they're definitely worth to see that young talent so this is um 8th to the 12th so not within our window um and it would have been at the 11 25 so that's the pre-lunch slot uh actress the admiral where have we got what's after um parker and snell company new writing and drama in 2017 I was raped. This play features true stories from survivors of sexual assault and detrimental effects it can have thereafter. And that would be a 15th to 20th. It's within my slot schedule. It's 12.15. It's a 45-minute show. Um, could be quite provocative in terms of your thinking, especially if you've got some experiences. So think about where you're going to place yourself for that piece you know what are you going to go and do afterwards this is the it's it could be classed as the pre-lunch slot so you could be seeing this before lunch um so uh the venue 53 e6 g6 so again there's uh working out where where it is where are we on time we're 10 past I'm going to go until quarter past because this is the first stream and it is the first one. It's me going through this as well. I hadn't gone through this in any deep detail because I wanted to have a, <laughs> it's almost a react video to this itself, to the programme of the Edinburgh Fringe. So I, I have an alternate endings. This is one that I've seen a few ads for this. This is also one that is, yes, it's available on demand from August the 5th. So you've got on demand and you've got scheduled live. The scheduled live ones are only available at particular times, but that doesn't mean you're gonna have a live connection with the venue itself. So you're watching something that's scheduled to be shown. I'm going to be looking at the live stuff 
especially because I want to find a show for Saturday. That's not going to get covered in this um, this stream, unfortunately, because this but alternate endings is definitely from the fifth. So it's from the fifth. So in fact, I might make that my Saturday event because I can watch it anytime on a Saturday and it's also free ticketed. So alternate endings, a world, the world is ending. Nothing can prepare you for the last week of life as we know it. This American cautionary tale told in 10 vignettes delves into the woes of the modern world online, on demand at online at the space UK. It's at one hour and 15 minutes uh, and say, take place. So that is probably one I will come back to. That might be my Saturday, but we're still going through the theatre. So you can see, let's see what, we, what else we've got here. Um, animal form. I always like something that's a bit of a play on words. So ad lib productions. Can four youthful specimens successfully attract a mate in the wild in the wild nightclub? Join learned professor and expert on animal behavior as he observes the strange mating rituals of humans communicating using animal names only. Includes animal themed music. Um, so this is at Paradise in the Vault. Uh, it's venue 29. 15th to the 20th, yes, it is available for the times that I am theoretically looking for. It's a nighttime show. So this would be that late night slot, 11.15, 35 minutes. That would be a great one to put in there. So where have we got? Let's see if I can. Okay, another one that's caught my eye. Are you still watching? Are you still watching? Paper, pen, unplugged, now what? A solo show with songs, Are You Still Watching? is a tale of creative charting the epic struggle between imagination and the legendary forces of distraction, fear and procrastination. Venue 29, GE5. There's a lot in E5. Um, and that is 15th to the 20th. It would fall within our slot. It's a 2.15 show, so it's the after lunch slot. So that before lunch, after slot, evening, hope you can see that that pattern is really, really useful to decide whereabouts it is. So we are coming up to the quarter past. I am going to zip past the theatre. I am going to zip past. What I want to do is have a look at the map is the thing that I want to show you. And then I will very briefly finish with a bit of a look at the programme so that you can, again, QR codes are there. Um, most phones, if you just open the native camera on your phone, it should scan and pick these up. Um, or go into your app store and just search QR code look at the top one, see how many it's used, um, and just have a, a play and a download. So most phones do have a native. Oh, the temptation to stop and have a look, but we are running out of time. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Still in theatre, still in theatre, still in theatre land, still in theatre land. So yeah, if you if you've liked this stream and you want to see what other stuff I do, I'm at PCM Creative on Twitter. Um, PCM Creative on most platforms. I've been very very consistent with my username. So if I am on a platform, search for PCM Creative and you'll find me. Some of them might not have many followers, might not have much activity, but being present and claiming my name has been quite fundamental because it means that I can pick those platforms up when I need to. I've just fallen down the uh, TikTok rabbit hole, uh, but that's a, another conversation. Um, but yeah, PCM Creative, if I'm on there, that's where you'll find me. Uh, of course, if you have enjoyed these streams, if you were on Facebook, let me know. If you are on YouTube, like and subscribe, make your comments. If you're on Twitch, 
give a comment in there as well. I do like to try and get to as many of you in your places that you feel happy. This is about me sharing with audiences. So it's great if I can bring an audience to me, but ultimately at this stage where I'm trying to find shows and find out where my creative practice is taking me, I don't have an audience. So uh, it's lovely to see as this builds up, this will be the places that I come back and share what I'm doing. So we're still in theatre, we're still in theatre. You see, I talked and stopped scrolling. So, 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 so. And if there's a show you want me to look at or there's an Edinburgh thing that you want to know more about, let me know. Still in theatre, we're still in theatre. And we're at quarter past, we're at quarter past, but we're still in theatre. I am going to show you the map. <laughs> we'll show the map, we're going down, it's still theatre. I mean, look at all this stuff. You can see what I mean. You need to have your own clock. You need your own time clock and say you need that time slots. Sort of, they could be in a sort of two hour time slots, but you'll have a 50 minute show. And then if that's a 50 minute show, that kind of tells you when that finishes and where your next slot might exist. So no matter how much the app gives you, there really is a certain amount of mental logistics and gymnastics that goes into getting the most out of this fringe experience and if you just find yourself getting overwhelmed go and sit on a bench and just take in where you are get yourself a coffee you know make sure you're taking a bottle of water around with you just go and watch the street theater so we're still in theater we're still in theater we're still in the theater there we go so enhanced performances so this is a great little list of um audio described performances that have been listed there are lots of others there's been a little bit of consternation that some shows that do have full accessibility have not been included on this list so look at what you want to go and see and if there is um so we've got audio described performances we've got signed performances captioned performances relaxed performances so that's their their categories so no matter what your accessibility needs talk to the venue if the venue don't want to talk to you then they probably it's not intentional maybe they have got access but there's just so much going on they don't have time and the last thing you want is to feel like you know you're this access burden which i know you know when i need something to be right for me to access it you you want to know so don't be harsh on yourself don't be harsh on them just find another venue find another show because uh, you can do that in French. So we've then got the venue guide. These are all the places. They do have their venue number and their grid reference. So, and their telephone numbers. A bit about what they do. So these are all the venues that are dotted all over the city. Um, I think it does actually have a list of what's on. So it's, you know, if you were seeing a show... Um, so the zoo. So when we come down to 52 souls is at the zoo venue. So I'm going to just nip down to zoo because uh, I know that that's where Chronic Insanity are playing. Just tonic. Uh, so many. And look at all these venues. Look at them all. OK, 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 OK. Where are we? We're still going. We're at P. So um so PBH Fringe, this is one of the, the um, free fringe. I'm going to be doing a show um, just looking at the free fringe and the PBH Fringe uh, specifically. I was on Elise Harris's um, show stream. Um, so do go and check out Elise Harris's um, free fringe show. Uh, and if you're up in the fringe, she would love to have people on. If you know, There's people who are doing shows, but if you've had an experience and you want to get in touch with her and be on our show, um, give her a call. Um, tweet her. So, 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 we go, let me go down here. We want the zoo. Where am I? 19 minutes past. I will finish by half past. That will be my absolute deadline. Um, underbelly, we're at the end of the alphabet. Zoo, zoo TV. So, zoo, zoo Southside, zoo playground. I think if I look down here, 52 souls here we go so one of the things is that that is definitely a show that i want to see it's in that after lunch slot 
So if I'm here for my lunch and I'm going to stay for the afternoon at least, it's worth having a look at what's in this venue to see what other stuff there is that you can attend. So you don't have to move around so much. So that might be, you know, you've got one show, too overwhelmed by everything else that's in the fringe. But there's a venue here that has got stuff. And then we'll look at where this is. So this is venue 186 G. E6, so GE6, here we go. So um, Leith has a map of its own. There's some outside. Uh, there's the map, and here we go in the city center. So uh, G, <laughs> there's no G on the map. What's that all about? What did it mean by G then? But E3, E3. And this 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 is the thing. It's it's how you find your venues. Um, but there you go. That's the map. Find out where it is that your venue is. Um, then you've got this tiny writing for me. So and then there's all the venues and where they are. But this is, you know, print this off. Get it on a screen so that you can scribble on it. So that you can find the dates. So that you can find different venues. But each of these little these can I make this bigger? No, I can't. Can I make this bigger? Uh, no, it's as big as it'll go. Um, so there you go. It's, oh, it is going bigger. So it's so going to down. So that is. I'm going to. That is the fringe program i wanted to is this you know this friend <laughs> this this has been episode one let's take a look at the edinburgh fringe get with the program so i am going to look a little deeper at these dates i'll write up a blog post about if i was going this thursday and friday what might my time look like how am i going to do those documents and say share that template that might be something that's useful um so thank you so much did you like it please comment follow and subscribe if you were on youtube whether you found me via facebook or whether it's via twitch this has been episode one and this has been get with the program join me for episode two